channel and if you so far time to come across the channel consider subscribing by the way don't forget to put a like like always be very grateful we are talking about what you call gratitude i think i had a question that was being asked several times how do i receive my gratitude after resigning uh, after resigning from the company that is one and two after changing company to one another let us try to look at what is all about resigning i know resigning is something that you need definitely to understand you give up with your contract and you're not willing to renew your contract with that employer so you're resigning resigning from that company it may be a couple of reasons or it can be a couple of factors that are tempting you to resign from that company maybe you are not well facilitated as agreed in the contract that was can be one reason or you've ended your contract and you don't wish to 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 add more time with this employee you have a right to resign and you have a right to go remember when you resign the company will get you a flight ticket back to your place to your home uh, point of destination then also it will have to calculate all the gratitude all that you owe to the company and they'll have to give it to you then they will prepare for your exit and you move out of the company you move out of the country amicably but remember as the company pays for your gratitude something that you should take note is pays you for your gratitude and you're all clear to go you definitely what you need to do in case they have given you what we call a ticket definitely you have to exit because if you don't exit that company notifies you or it gets to get to know that you've not exited the country you are within the country then they will definitely put what you call a fall up or a fall such a way, a uh, runaway case, and definitely, it will definitely be another uh, bit of it all in trouble in one way or the other. That is for the one situation. When you resign, they will definitely calculate all your gratitude, they will give you all your bonuses, uh, leave uh, pending uh, leave salary, or what you call uh, all overdues, then they will definitely give it to you, you will go out of the company, or you will go out amicably. Then two, we are looking at you've changed a company. This is where it's so much very crazy to some companies some companies do definitely don't want you to change to a new company even if you got they will definitely give you a lot of excuses for example you get an offer letter this company some of these companies are going to give you a, a lot of excuses we've seen so much this coming to what you call security companies and they don't want people to move even if when you've gotten what you call a good opportunity or a better opportunity that is way much give you a much salary or something that is better than what you've been receiving and that is actually where the drama of it all comes in because they'll ask a lot of documents which are not even uh, a requirement by the Ministry of Labor to get it to you to get in one way or the other because for you to get an NOC you definitely need to have what you call an offer letter then also if so will they ask they'll ask for what you call a computer card from the, the the what you call the company that is giving you the offer letter i think that is really very okay for the ministry because this is what is required when you are filling up what we call the change of employer uh, form when you're filling it out but some companies they will say give us a, a smart card number they will say give us a business card number give us a sierra number all those documents are just put forward to prevent you to change remember they are asking you those documents to buy the time such that your offer letter can expire. Remember, when we are looking at the offer letter, the offer letter is normally given one week. And there are some employers or some people who are giving you the offer letters. If you are not a patient enough that you cannot try to do the work within the one week, they will definitely give out the opportunity to somewhere else. So that is where the other trouble part of it all comes from. So you need to be very careful and you need to let those people giving you the offer letter or the new employer that is willing to take you you tell him that the procedure if they're not willing to give me an NOC in my company then definitely they can look for an uh, other alternative then after you changing that job and you need to be paid your gratitude most of the companies try to pay uh, play what you call drama in one way or the other way to call it in that kind of perspective but the right procedure for you to do is that Transfer to the new company, maintain the notice period that is given to you, maintain it, go with it, then move. Work all the days, finish up, notify, hand over the company property, hand over each and everything. Then applicably, as according to the Ministry uh, of Labor, the actual end date, the notice end date that is given to you, hand over, then you move to the next, to the next job. 
for you. You leave the rest. Masters, they have to give you the release letter, definitely. Some companies say, for you to be paid all your end of service gratuity, especially if you've stayed in that company for so long, let's say, for example, if you had unlimited, which is called five years, most companies, they will definitely say, give us an ID or kata ID that is coming from the former company, uh, what you uh, are from the current company. If you've changed home, then they can begin uh, preparing your file where they can give you gratitude so i think that procedure you can take up the procedure and you get the id you get a photocopy of the id you submit your former uh, company uh, to the human resource then you ask them to prepare all your gratitude i think that would be the better option otherwise if you don't do that they're going to toss you up and down uh, and then remember i talked about what you call the good companies and the bad companies that those companies that are really very good and what they will do they will definitely prepare everything they will get no uh, notification and they will prepare whatever everything they have to put for you then definitely they will give you and leave you in amicably but to remember we cannot rule out the destination we cannot rule out the two things that we have the good and the bad companies in one way or the other